One of the best upgrades you can do if you've got a 2009 to 2018 Ram truck of any kind, 1500, 2500, 3500, is an HID kit. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys just how much better they are compared to stock, and I'll show you how to get them installed. remove these headlights, you're going to need a couple tools. You're going to want to start with a pry tool, go ahead and pop the hood, and we're going to remove this plastic cover right here. Now as you can see, this guy's got an aftermarket intake system, but essentially what you're going to discover with your truck is you've got a lot of these plastic clips, and you can work your way from right to left, pull them all off, and this little cover here is going to come right off. Now what I'll usually do is pry under the cover itself, it seems to get these things up a little bit easier. Now with all the clips removed, you can go ahead and pull this cover off and set it off to the side. Now the next step is removing four 10 millimeter bolts from the top of this grill here. So from right to left, we've got one here, one here, one here, and one here. Now of those four bolts we just removed, two of them are going to look like this. They've got a very coarse thread and they thread into the plastic on the outside of the grill. And the two inner bolts are a metal thread screw, much finer thread, and they look like this. Don't mix them up when you reinstall them, you'll strip the holes out. Now at this point you can remove the grill from your truck. There are clips on the right and left side and basically what you do is you grab the grill and pull it toward you. If your truck's never been taken apart before, it can put up a fight, but I promise all you have to do is just pull it toward you, it will come loose. Go ahead and set it off to the side. Now to remove the headlight themselves, there are two bolts. There's one up top, one on bottom right here. You can use hand tools, or in this case, I've got an impact. Go ahead and remove them. Now you're almost there. There is a little lever we need to pull in the wheel well, and I'll show you guys how to do that next. There's a plastic clip on the bottom of this trap door in your wheel well liner. You can use that same pry tool we were using earlier. Pop the clip out. And you're gonna reach into this trap door and there's a little lever. It's a white plastic lever. It's really hard to see on camera, but if you reach in there, you can pull that lever and it will allow the headlight to come out. What you're gonna wanna do is push the lever up to remove the headlight. And when you reassemble the truck, remember to pull the lever down to lock it in place. At this point, you can remove the headlight. It's pretty simple. If you pull it toward the outside of the truck, it'll release from the little clips that it's got, and it'll pop out just like that. Now there's one wire harness on the bottom of this headlight. Press in on the tab on the bottom, and pull it away. And we can bring this to our bench. So this is that white tab that you access from the wheel liner, and it's in the locked position right now. So if you're removing the headlight, what you wanna do is press it up like that. The headlight will now come out, and when you reassemble the vehicle and put the headlight back in, you wanna pull it down to lock it in place. Now the 2009 to 2018 Ram trucks had two different popular headlight options. There was a third that used a dual beam bulb, an H13 bulb, but we're not gonna cover that in this video. This video is about the projector style that you saw on the truck and the reflector style like I've got here. I'm gonna show you guys how to install HIDs in both of them so that no matter what you have at home in your driveway, this information is gonna help you out. We'll start with the projector headlight. Now, the first thing we need to do is remove the dust cover on this headlight. There are five total screws that are an eight millimeter head screw that surround the dust cover itself. Go ahead and remove those. With the dust cover removed, you can now see your low and high beam bulb. The low beam's over here and the high beam's over here. Go ahead and unplug your low beam bulb. Twist it counterclockwise pop it out of the socket just like that. To do your high beam, it's the exact same thing. The high beam is a little hard to see. It's actually quite a ways inside the headlight here. And that actually prevents a lot of different LED bulbs from fitting the high beam. It's a pretty challenging headlight. And personally, if I had one of these trucks, I would run HID. Now on this projector style headlight, it's gonna use a 9005 high beam and low beam. So we can use the same set of bulbs for both. Go ahead and remove the cover. 
remove the styrofoam, and GTR Lighting supplies alcohol wipes with these kits to prevent any kind of fingerprints or grease or dirt getting on the bulb. If you get anything like that on the bulb, make sure you remove it. It will shorten the lifespan of the bulb if you leave it on there. Use the swab. Just make sure it's nice and clean. Go ahead and install your HID bulb into the socket. Lock it in place just like that. Do the same thing for high beam. Now at this point, you've got two different ways you can handle the factory dust cover. In the past, we would drill two holes in 7 8 inch diameter, and we would install our HID kit grommet into it, pass the wiring through, and connect it to our ballast. You can certainly do that, and a lot of people still do, especially if you've got a hole saw or a unibit or a drill at home. It's a pretty easy way to handle it. However, we do have these dust covers that are an option on our website. If you'd prefer not to have to drill a hole, not have to worry about anything like that, no hole sawing, no drilling required, you can use these. They have the drill already. You simply swap the O-ring from the original cover to the new cover, pass your wiring through, and you're done. I'm going to use this cover today for demonstration purposes. Go ahead and remove the O-ring from your original dust cover. And install it on the new one. Now the advantage of using these newer dust covers is you don't have to drill holes in your old ones, so if you ever wanted to put your truck back to stock, if you're trading it in, you wanted to keep your HID kit, use it in your next vehicle, you can slap your original dust covers on and no one will ever know you were in there. Now before we reinstall the dust cover, we want to connect our power wires to our HID wiring. Here's our factory low beam connector. You want to attach it to the new HID kit wiring like this so that the black wires line up right across from each other. snaps into place just like that. Do the same thing for high beam. As you can see, the red wire is going to the blue wire and black goes to black. Now we can pass our HID kit wiring through our dust cover and install our grommets. What I'll normally do at this point, now that the grommet has been passed through, is I'll install it just like this. As you can see, it's a pretty nice tight fit. We're not going to get any moisture or debris in the headlight itself. With the grommets installed, we can go ahead and tighten down our dust cover. It really is that simple. Now, just a quick run through of what these wires are doing. These two amp connectors here go to our ballast. And this is the power wire that we connected inside the headlight. This is what powers up the ballast. So what's going to happen is this plugs into your ballast, and so do these. You want to keep these going to the same ballast so that you don't get them mixed up. Installing HIDs in a reflector-based headlight is extremely simple. On the back side of the headlight, you're going to see two different dust covers. You're going to see the low beam dust cover up top and the high beam dust covers down below. These simply twist counterclockwise, pop off just like that, exposing the bulb underneath. And twist the bulb counterclockwise and unclip it from the factory wire harness just like that. Same process goes for high beam. Now the next step is installing our HID bulb. Go ahead and remove the protective covering. GTR lighting does include an alcohol wipe to prevent any dirt or grime from getting on the bulb. Go ahead and wipe it down. And this bulb's just going to twist clockwise into the original low beam opening, just like that. Go ahead and connect the power input wire to the factory wiring. Make sure the black wires line up across from each other. If you get all this put together and your HID lights don't work, one of them doesn't power on, chances are you've got this connector backwards. Try flipping it around. At this point, we can install our dust cover. Now, just like the projector style headlight, there are two different ways you can go about doing this. We do have an optional pre-drilled kit you can get. If you don't have a drill or a unibit, or you just don't feel like using a hole saw to cut the hole out, you can just buy this. They'll come with the kit, and it makes the whole thing a lot easier. If you have a drill and don't mind cutting a hole in your factory dust cover, you can just do that and install it in the exact same steps that I'm about to show you. We do need the O-ring off the original dust cover, though. You can just roll it off like so. Install it on the new cover. Pass your HID wiring through and install the grommet. With the grommet installed, it should look just like this. Go ahead and twist your dust cover back on. All that's left to do is connect the ballast. 
Now the way this wiring works is very simple. This is your power wire that goes to your ballast and these amp connectors get plugged in to the other wire harness coming off of your ballast. I'll show you guys that in a second on the truck. Follow these exact same steps for this high beam dust cover. Let's get back over to the vehicle and plug everything in. Now there's one thing we need to do before we reinstall our headlight housing and that is mount our GTR lighting HID ballasts. Now these are the secret sauce when it comes to this kit. These ballasts are designed with Ram trucks in mind. As you probably know if you've done any research on these trucks, they are extremely complicated. They've got a very complex CAN bus system and they can cause a lot of flickering, strobing and warning lights to come on in the dash using any cheaper kits on the market today. If you check out the RAM forums, you're gonna see stuff like that. These ballasts do not have that issue. You don't need any relay harnesses. You don't need any special wiring. This is all you need to make your HID kit work on this truck. It's awesome. They're a very slim ballast and they fit in this limited space area here. What I'll usually do when I install these is I'll mount them along this frame rail here, either on the inside, or even tucking it along the outside right here. You don't want it to be necessarily right flat on it because what'll happen is you'll try to reinstall your housing and it'll bump into it. It's the last thing you want. These ballasts have got double-sided tape that they ship with. It's really slick and it makes installing them very, very simple. Go ahead and pull the red backing off the double-sided tape. And stick it on the inside of the frame rail here. If your frame rail is dirty at all, you're going to want to clean it up real quick. You can use the same alcohol swab that you use to clean your bulbs with. One ballast is mounted right here and the other one's right here. With a ballast mounted, we can install our headlight. Bring it down right here. Connect your factory wiring. And plug in each of your ballasts. As you can see, I'm not resting the headlight on the paint. If you haven't done this before, it might not be a bad idea to throw a little painter's tape down just to make sure you don't scratch the paint at all. Now what I wanna do is rest this wiring in here, reinstall the headlight loosely, and I wanna test all the functions, make sure everything works properly before I cinch it back up. Now that we've tested everything and both our low and high beam work perfectly, we can go ahead and see exactly how much brighter these headlights are compared to stock. Now, one more time, if you guys get to this point and you find that your high beam doesn't turn on or maybe your low beam doesn't turn on, check all your connections, especially the ones inside the headlight. It's really easy to get those backwards and if they are backwards, they will not power on properly. Assuming everything works, let's check these things out. I cannot wait to see how much better they are compared to halogen. This Ram truck came into our shop today with projector headlights. We're gonna start there, but I do wanna show you guys the reflector before and after too, so that no matter what truck you have at home in your driveway, this information will help you. Starting with the stock projector low beam, as you can see on the wall, it came in at 450 maximum lux. These Rams do have a nice beam pattern from the factory, and what's sweet about that is by putting an HID bulb in there, we're gonna brighten that beam pattern up but we shouldn't pick up too much glare above that cutoff line. We shouldn't get flashed by oncoming traffic. So having said that, let's check out the HID low beam. Our low beam projector with a 55 watt 5,000 K HID bulb installed came out at 1,110 maximum lux and the results speak for themselves. Look at how bright that wall is. We got a beautiful cutoff line still, but it is so much brighter than the 450 that this truck came in with. Now let's see what we can do in the high beam. The stock projector high beam comes in at 540 maximum lux, and it looks pretty good. There's a lot of flood, and I expect the same from HID. We should get a pretty significant amount of light when we do upgrade that. Our HID high beam came in at 2360 maximum lux, and look at how bright this thing is on the wall. I've driven these trucks at night down dark roads with these exact setups before, and they are so much brighter than stock, you would not believe it. Here's the reflector low beam, and it comes in at 320 maximum lux. So you can see we do have a hot spot on the left and right. It's not a terrible beam pattern. Let's see if we can brighten it up. A 55 watt 5000 K HID kit in the reflector low beams on one of these vehicles brings in 1570 maximum lux compared to 320. Can you believe that increase? Can you imagine driving with that at night? It is unbelievable in person. You would love this kit if you purchased it. Let's check out the high beam. The stock reflector high beam comes in at 600 maximum lux and on these trucks, it's actually a pretty good, pretty usable high beam and I can't wait to see how much HID increases that. Our HID reflector high beam comes in at 3,080 maximum lux compared to 600. It is an unbelievable high beam option and having driven them, 
personally at night we used to do a lot of ram stuff on this channel and we still do i've driven this exact setup it is unbelievable it's probably the best you can get today as far as light output i highly recommend it as you can see hid still remains the best possible option for rams like this one here when it comes to upgrading your headlights now if you need any other products for your ram if you want some of the world's brightest reverse lights cargo lights or fog lights we got a lot of new content coming out on these trucks Click the subscribe button. We got some new videos right around the corner and you're not going to want to miss them.